Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for inviting me to join you. Down there in Southern California, there was a magnitude 2.7 earthquake near Hermosa Beach, which 544 people took the time in reporting. I've talked about this area in previous videos. Using Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake. This is an area what they call a blind fault, which they previously did not know about. A blind fault is a fault line that shows no indication of surface rupture. This fault line is actually called the Compton Blind Thrust Fault. Thrust earthquakes are the worst earthquakes you could possibly have. I talked about the stress that's been building up. And there is a bridge over here right on top of the fault zone. And whenever you guys do have the major earthquake there, you're going to be shot off um, because of the uh, ground uplift of at least at least eight feet. It's going to be like being shot off a seesaw or an arrow through the air. Yeah, the ground will suddenly um, thrust up. <laughs> Not really anything to uh, laugh about. Let's go back over here. Yeah, this red line is the uh, the fault zone. And these are all the earthquakes that I've been trying to keep track of. We got a 2.6, which was a reverse strike slip earthquake. We got here another um, reverse thrust earthquake. That was a magnitude 3.7. Um, today's 2.7. We got a 2.5 and a 1.6. This earthquake was felt as far as San Diego, and we got Palmdale and Lancaster. Yeah, there's areas of high rises, which would be devastated during a large earthquake. Over here to the north, we have the city of Compton. This too here is a thrust fault zone. And you know that major earthquakes often trigger earthquakes on other fault zones. Here we got Newport and Inglewood Fault. And this other red line, this is the Redondo Tsunami Threat. Yeah, they know that this wall here um, could collapse and create a huge tsunami. And the tsunami would wrap around and go to many places. Yeah, Santa Monica. We got Seal Beach. We got Long Beach. Yeah, and up over here. According to an article on the LA Times, the Redondo Canyon, a collapse of the canyon wall, could flood low-lying areas in your date zones that might include Marina del Rey and the shores of Santa Monica and South Bay Beach cities. USGS gave this uh, intensity level for this earthquake today. Actually, it was last night at 8.27 p.m. local time as an intensity level of three weak shaking but what it is saying is that tension has built up along this fault zone this is a, a thrust fault or a thrust earthquake with dipping yeah the fault zone dipped uh south southeast yeah there probably was uplift along this um earthquake fault zone first wave came from the north slightly east yeah what can i say it's just a matter of time before you guys have a major earthquake yeah there'll be lots of damage lots of injuries um hopefully not loss of life but that is expected broken water lines broken gas lines etc and everyone needs to, to be prepared so did you feel this earthquake please put your comments down below thank you for watching thank you for subscribing YouTube is currently unsubscribing people that they consider bots. So uh, put anything down so it knows you, you're not a bot. Yeah, these little AIs are kind of stupid. So if you're wondering why you're not getting notifications to your favorite um, channels, it might be because you've been unsubscribed because their little AI thought you were a bot. I'm also on Twitter. I put a lot of things on Twitter that YouTube would definitely shut me down about so much for freedom of speech and freedom of information knowledge is power right 
And if you wish to support my work, I'm also on Patreon and PayPal. Again, guys, always be prepared. This is just an indication that stress is built for a major earthquake. Who knows when? And I'll talk to you all later. God bless you all.